I was unaware, though, that my husband's presence would loom over us as we chat together. It appears I am sitting in a humble recreation of the famous portrait painted by Mr. Gilbert Stuart. Undoubtedly, everyone recognizes the image of George Washington. But I must make sure that everyone knows who I am. I am indeed Martha Washington, General's wife and the President's lady. Now, many surely know about George Washington, but I thought perhaps today I might humbly speak about myself. I shall admit first and foremost that I never dreamed as a young woman that I would one day be thrust into a public life as the president's wife. And all truthfulness, it was never my desire for my husband to become the president of our United States. Prior to the War of Independency, I lived a relative tranquil life as a plantation mistress. And I little thought that when the war was finished, that any circumstances could possibly have conspired that would draw the general back into the public life again. But in that, I was disappointed. And yet I cannot blame my husband for having acted according to his idea of duty in obeying the voice of his country. And so it was in April of 1789 that the general received word of his election to the presidency. With respect to myself, I have never considered much of regarding a legacy of my own, but I hope to stand as an example of motherhood in a new republic, willing to answer the call of duty, for above all, the choice of duty over inclination will benefit the common good of our country.